Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to connect to your database, and then display the data from a database table, on your page. The first thing we need to do, is to create a server action file. In order to have our server action files well organized, we can put them in different folders. Let's create a folder, named, products. Then, right-click the folder, that we've just created, and select, Add Action File. We call it, All Products, as we'll use this action file, to list our products. Now, we need to create a database connection. Right-click, Steps, for this action file, and select, Add Database Connection from the database actions menu add a name for your database connection and then click the connection options button select your database type from the drop down we select mysql as this is our database type then enter your database properties address database name username and password. Click the OK button when you are done setting up your database connection. Save your action file. Now, after we've successfully set up our database connection, we need to create a database query. Right click the database connection step and under the database actions, select Add database query. Add a name for this query. And then, click the Query Options button. Select the database table, that you want to use, from the Tables drop-down. We select our Products table. And then add the selected table, to the query. Select which of the database table columns, you'd like to use. We select all columns. Then, add the selected columns to the query. Click the Filters tab, if you want to filter your query. We don't want to filter our query now, as we'd like to list all of our products, on the page. So we just go to Sort Options. Select the column, which you want to sort your query by. And add it to the Sort Order list. Then select the Sort Order, Ascending, or Descending. Click the OK button, when you are done, save your server action file. Now, in the HTML5 Data Bindings panel, select Server Connect Action Executors. And click the Add New button. Here, we are going to set up our server action executor, which contains our database queries. Enter a name for the server action executor. Select to auto run the executor on DOM Ready. Select your server action file from the drop down. And select the send method, get or post. Leave this option to its default setting, get. And click the OK button. Expand the executor that we've just created. You will find your queries under the element called data and here is the query that we created you can expand it in order to see the available data bindings let's create a repeat region which will list the data on our page select the query name click on your page where you want to place the repeat region open the bind options drop down and select repeat region then Click the Insert button. Our repeat region has been successfully created. Now let's add some data inside it. First, click inside the repeat region. Then, select the data bindings, which you'd like to display. Select text from the Bind Options drop-down, and click the Insert button. You can add as many bindings, as you need. Save the page, when you are done, 
and let's preview the results. The data loads really fast on the page. You can see all our products, from our database table, sorted by name. That's how easy it is, to connect to your database, and list your database data on the page, using DMX Zone Server Connect and HTML5 data bindings.